bottle. Carolyn Masson spends a lot of time in her kitchen. Her two-year-old son, Mika, has a rare food allergy, which means he's extremely limited to what he can and cannot eat. Basically, his body has um, allergies in his gut to the food protein. That includes everything but water and sugar. The allergy is called F-Pies, food protein-induced enterocolitis syndrome. It means he's allergic to pretty much everything. He's filled dairy, soy. Chicken, rice, dairy, veggies, and most fruits are just some of the things he can't eat. If he does, Mika suffers from severe vomiting that has put him into shock. We've up to now trialed 29 foods, and he's got one safe, the peaches. Mika can't eat frozen, canned or dried peaches because they often contain additives. That, along with a special milk formula, is all the toddler can consume. He even reacts to like, his, uh, the fabric of his clothes, uh, the air outside, a change of uh, the pressure, um, anything. You know, even his own tears give him like hives on his face. On top of Mika's rare food allergy, the two-year-old lives with both D. George syndrome, which is a immunodeficiency, and 15Q, a rare genetic chromosome abnormality. His parents say these conditions have caused Mika to have developmental delays, learning difficulties, and even trouble speaking. It's a constant, like, lookout. And it's, uh, it's very difficult uh, to deal with. To treat Mika's conditions, he goes to the Montreal Children's Hospital two or three times a month and visits about nine different specialists. Though the family is thankful for the care they're receiving, they say they need more help. So they're hoping by speaking out that someone somewhere will know more about their son's allergy. Because at the end of the day, they just want Mika to be able to live a simple life. To be happy. So we were supposed to have the uh, dairy challenge on Monday, two days ago. Um, appointment was at 10.30 and the last train is in, in the morning is at 8.55 leaving from here. And it takes us about like 15, 20 minutes to get there. So I was there early. Like I had an, uh, more than an hour to wait around. So I had um, got there early, went to see a friend, we hung out, we played with the little cars in the play area, went to their room, talked a bit, and then I'm like, okay, it's 10.15, uh, I'll go to the appointment now, which was across the street, because it was at um, uh, another clinic. It wasn't in the hospital. They sent me to the children's clinic, the TCC, which is uh, associated with them. And so I show up there, um, go to sit down, wait about an hour before being called. Micah was kind of getting grumpy, he was hungry, and I hadn't given him any milk yet. He was supposed to get it at 11. But because he was supposed to get the dairy challenge, I figured they would give him milk, and you know, he couldn't really drink before. And uh, so they finally called me in around 11.15, 11.30. They don't have access to his file because it's on the other side of the hospital and he can't access it because he doesn't like he doesn't get access to it so i have to explain the situation from the beginning from when he was born like what he reacted to what he can have what you know it was kind of long so after we discuss everything you know he's like oh has he ever had a dairy challenge before i'm like no he's never had dairy and he's like oh well what about soy I'm like well soy was the only one out of the um you know, skin testing they did last year, they came out almost as reactions. So, because he's never really had any soy directly, only through me when breastfeeding, uh, we were kind of scared that that would turn into an IG uh, type allergy and we, we don't want to touch soy for him. And so he's like, okay, well, let me go discuss this with the, uh, the allergist, um, the doctor who's supposed to see us, and I'll be back. Wait about 10 minutes. He comes back with her and she says, well, the good news is, you won't get the test done right now. I'm like, what does that mean? She says, well, the problem is, they sent the request to the wrong place. It shouldn't have been sent here. We only get the new patients here, and you're obviously not a new patient. Um, they can't do it there. They don't have the equipment for it, which I had even asked about. We when they told, She told them on the phone. When they yeah. when, when I called the schedule, I even asked. I said, you know, like, it's for FPI's uh, reactions, uh, dairy challenge. 
do they have access to IV and all this? She's like, well, I don't know. You have to discuss it with the doctor when you see them on the Monday morning. Oh, okay. I asked last week, my nutritionist, I said, well, we're being seen at the clinic. Do you know how it works? She's like, well, no, I don't know anything about that. So anyway, long story short, they can't do it there. Whoever sent the request, uh, it wasn't our GI. It was someone that was there as, um, what are they called? Uh, one of the residents that were there with her last time we saw her wrote the paper, they couldn't even read his handwriting, they couldn't understand anything, it got sent the wrong, wrong place, it should have been sent to the allergist directly in the hospital to do a trial there, because he needs to be under surveillance, well, observation, uh, for at least 10-12 hours while we do this, because his reaction can happen between like an hour and a half up to like 11 hours later. So it's not just like one, two, three, let's test him and he'll react within the, the next hour. So yeah, it's a bit complicated. Came back home around one, one? One-ish. Oh, yeah. My, my, yeah, we got a ride, so it was faster on the way back. What 30. And uh, they said they would call us back because I had to go... No, no, that wasn't the end of it. I had to actually go to the hospital, uh, go see the GI team, talk to our GI. She wasn't there, so I talked to the receptionist, and she said, well, I'm going to make sure she gets the, um, the note. Uh, I told her, this is like urgent because we only have like a month and a half max to do this because the RAMQ for the insurance they're so slow with the paperwork and uh, the coverage for his formula ends on the she's like well she'll call you back whenever she can and she'll try to figure it out that was two days ago no call yesterday no call today and it's 6 30 so I'm guessing no call um, I mean the days are going by and I'm hoping this is done by the end of next week because I don't want to be spending 200 and something a week for formula, you know? And it goes through one can uh, a day and a half. Uh, it's 220. There. No, that's with the cover. No, okay, it's it's $66 a can. So it would come up to like $1,000 a month. Right, right. I, don't, I don't even understand what their plan is because even, let's say by some magical thing, he can pass dairy. They still can't put him on regular milk because he needs the calories of the formula. So it makes no sense to me. Like, why? Even the receptionist said to her that I don't get they're why. All, yeah, all I don't get why. The, the first guy I saw at the clinic, he's like, I don't like. Why are they doing this? I don't understand. Like, he shouldn't be going through this kind of testing right now. This boy is so reactive to everything. This is a bad idea. And then our GI, the nutritionist, everybody else were like, like, I'm sorry, we have no choice. But they, we we don't want to. But there's no choice. The HamQ refused unless we do this. So like. But I do not know what is going on. I don't organize all that. Dr. Santana is on vacation this week and also next week. I will leave her a message and she will see you at her return. Uh, maybe his, uh, Micah's allergist can help you before Santana comes back. Have a good day. Seriously? You don't have an allergist. I have immunology. <laughs> Wow. Then you have to see the doctor. Because we won't renew it um, unless we do a dairy uh, allergy challenge. And it's not till Thursday. And then I know it takes them like a month and a half or so before. The, the, we, we were supposed to have a, the dairy challenge during the summer and In then they, screw, they screwed up and they sent us to the wrong clinic. Yeah. And then they, all it, the yeah. doctors were, were on vacation. How are you feeling? Like crap, literally. Like uh, your sinuses. Um, so that uh, you can tell, I, I, I've been sleeping all day. My hair's a mess. I feel like I have a fever. I'm all sweaty. I'm gross. I uh, had the fever too. And it's like here. Oh, it's even red. Yeah. Here, here, and here. Yeah. And I'm so like it feels like it's in like my jaw. Yeah. So um. We're trying our best here, and tomorrow we're gonna see uh, uh, how it goes. And that's how I actually felt on the last day before the fever completely stopped for me. Yeah, um, we will catch you tomorrow and uh, see how it all goes. Okay. Okay. So it's currently the morning, 
and uh, yeah, Micah's drinking his bottle, and yeah, the doctor said uh, no extra stuff, you know, F O O D, and uh, yeah. Um, Bye, Micah. All right. Look who's here! Micah! Oh, Micah! Yeah. So how'd it go the rest of the day? Um, okay, I guess. Yeah, we don't have like a major reaction yet, like no vomiting or, or whatever. Ah, my hair. Or diarrhea. But, uh, I mean, it, it, his body is so all over the place, we don't know when reactions happen. It can be today, it can be tomorrow, it can be whatever. So they said to keep giving him uh, milk somehow, formula or milk or yogurt, whatever we want. And um, if he does react, to just bring him back into the uh, ER. Yeah, because it could uh, be days or weeks until he well, actually not weeks if it's a big reaction, yeah, exactly. but I mean, probably more tomorrow. These are like day two or three reactors. Baba! Look, look, look! It's your Baba! I'm not making it hot, it's yogurt. Swallow. Why is it curled? With peaches in it, yeah. It tastes good? Is it good? Uh, there's two tablespoons in here, so I'm probably going to do it all the time. And then put a little bit of uh, peach puree in it to give them uh, taste. And it's 100% uh, uh, organic Greek yogurt, so it's just plain. Four. Um, right now it's just a regular milk based formula. The problem was we were looking for a formula that is soy free and corn free. And the only one I know of that would pass is the uh, 
ready to feed uh, uh, Alimatum uh, formula, but the dairy in there is so hydrolyzed, there's like barely anything left. So as a trial for dairy, that wouldn't work. Like we wouldn't know. So there's no option. So I figured, you know, if we're gonna actually have him react, let's go full blast into regular dairy-based formula. There's enough soy in here to actually make him react. Uh, there's probably some of you saying, why would you do that? Like, uh, make him react with this It's formula. our only option. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, the government um, healthcare insurance plan, they won't renew so his nice. actual formula, the Pyramino he's on, unless we try out dairy and make him react to prove it. And so, it's, I, I don't want to do this, but we have no choice. No, I know soy and corn are definite no's for him. Um, dairy we had never tried, so that we don't know. But if I can give him this and he reacts to it, then there's no option other than the pure amino anyway for him. So they'll have no choice. No, no, exactly. And, uh... challenge. Um, we were testing at first with just milk and then on Friday night, uh, which was the day the day after, we transitioned him into a regular formula like you saw in the previous uh, video, I guess. Was it? Yeah. Yes. And um, that didn't go so well. So I had to call the GI give her the news about his symptoms and um, they said oh she's not there till Thursday and uh, for a prescription renewal for the for the government to approve it and all that you have to talk to the nutritionist so I called the nutritionist left her a message and haven't had any news since look at that so what does it mean when it does that? Well, it's all like... Um, uh, like elevated. It, it's bumpy and hot. Don't touch it, my guy. So you're gonna have to take him in? Uh, so you're gonna take him in? Yeah, um, we think he's getting hives or an allergic reaction like cellulite. Cellulitis? Cellul anyway, whatever it's called. Um, and because of his neutropenia, he cannot fight any bacterial infections, so if it's that one, you can go. Uh, it's hot to the touch, it's kind of big, and I would localize in one spot, so yeah. Let's go, Micah. We gotta go. Bye, Micah. If he needs IV, I have it antibiotics. Uh, we'll let you know. Okay. I hope we don't have to go back every single day, but fun. Bye bye. Yeah, we're going, huh? You could play with the toys over there. Yeah. Yeah. As usual. Yeah. You know the toys that you play with, huh? Man, uh, doctors aren't ready for a kid like Micah at all. Um, I'll explain to you guys uh, what happened when she went to see the doctor. It's the usual occurrence in our world. So uh, we're just documenting that it needs to improve all the knowledge of the doctors. So yeah, I'll just flip you guys around once I meet Sarah and help her with my gun. Hello, hello! Hi! Oh. see. Early night. Yeah. So yeah. What's the verdict? The verdict is there is no verdict right now. What did she? What did the doctor they don't, say? They don't know. Like I, I, I basically spent like um, four hours there to just be told. Oh, I don't. I'm not really sure what it is. It looks like diaper rash to me. Uh, I just keep an eye on it and come back if it gets worse. I'm like what? 
And how is that a diaper rock? I mean, everybody it's tells us it's what? It's on like on the side on his hip, and it's super large and and, and it's like swelling and um, hot. And it's hot. Touch. Yeah, no, yeah, that's an so, allergic reaction to something. And, and like, it's like I don't know. Okay. It's like I can call the GI if you want me to. I'm like I already did that. That's not the point of this. Shouldn't we be doing like testing to make sure it's not an infection or something? It's more that they don't want to deal with a child like him. That they they sometimes they're so busy that they're like, oh, just get the people out of here. You know? It's a uh, it's sad, but it's sad, but it shouldn't be like that. You know? Uh, it's I don't really get this world. Like uh, there's so many stories we've heard where. The child they just get, is, they yeah. Just get like talk to the side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, and they have severe like injuries or severe uh, stuff to be seen, you know. And they, they the doctors just don't care. And it, they, that needs to change. And this is why I'm uh, documenting everything. And by the way, he's in the back. Hey. Yeah. Hey. He's so tired. <laughs> he didn't yeah. nap today, so he's. He's getting way too heavy for both of us okay. to carry him. So, yeah. And she had a long day at the hospital, so she's done as well. I'm hungry. Yeah. I got so, two bites of uh, a salad I had bought. Not super so, yeah, guys. Uh, we will keep you posted on anything else.